Oh boy. Okay, if you're following this channel, you're starting to get to know me a bit, and you're gonna know that you're gonna see these videos periodically, because analysts, okay, like Bob McKenzie, Craig Button, whoever you want, Sarah Volley, look, they're gonna talk about topics that are very by the book. They're gonna talk about Shane Wright on the ice, they're gonna talk about character you know they're going to talk about the cliche stuff and i bring that stuff up too but i also want to have some juicy interesting discussions as a fan and talk about stuff and bring stuff up that the media on tv won't talk about because to me that's what makes this youtube platform special and that's what makes us different from the talking heads on tv is that we can have these discussions and today i want to talk about the rumors and the discussion that shane wright He's got a bad attitude, and a lot of people are saying it. Look, it's not confirmed, it's not 100%, but I started seeing tiny rumblings about this when he was talking the day before the draft about how he deserves to be first overall, uh, Montreal should pick him, and he he is deserving of the first overall pick. And honestly, I didn't have a problem with that. That's just him showing confidence to the teams and saying like, hey, Pick me because I'm going to be good. I don't see any problem with that. I had no issue. I didn't think it was arrogance. I've heard that type of thing before. I didn't think it was a problem. I, I mean, I didn't think it was like Isaac Howard, the Iceman, saying that he's the best looking guy in the draft, to which he, he, he said that, by the way, live on the air on Sportsnet, and that he should dress like the best looking guy too. That, to me, made my eyes roll to the back of my head. I, uh, yeah, I didn't like that much, <laughs> honestly, but with Wright's comments, I didn't have a huge problem with it, and then after that, it got very interesting when he got picked by the Seattle Kraken, and, and a lot of people are trying to debunk this, but Shane Wright confirmed it, okay? He did, in fact, death stare the Montreal Canadiens draft table, and to me, I did not like that at all. Initially, when I saw it, I was like, whoa, buddy, what are you doing? And the comments he said after apparently congratulated Uri Slavkovsky, said he's gonna be a, he was a great pick and all, everything like that. It was good, um, and he he has a chip on his shoulder, proving to the other teams that passed on him that it was a mistake. Again, no problem with that. I've heard that before. That's just a driven kid who's motivated, who wants to prove that he's the best, and he's ultra competitive. No problem with that. I don't like disrespectfully at 17, 18 years old, death staring. NHL legend, Marty St. Louis, Vincent Le Cavalier, okay, uh, Kent Hughes, Jeff Gorton, guys who've been around the league, who deserve respect, okay, and have been around the game for a long time, and you're 18, you haven't played a second of NHL hockey here, that was disrespectful, that was strike one for me, what are you doing, Shane, have some respect for those guys, yeah, okay, maybe they said they would draft you or whatever, it's part of the game, it's part of the business, just get over it. Go to your new team. Say that you love being in Seattle. You love playing for that team and move on. Seriously. So I did not like that. And then, I mean, I'm not going to talk about those leaked Snapchats. Apparently there's snaps from him with him talking to a girl. I don't like that that got leaked. Like to me, that's that's private stuff. And he didn't even say anything bad. Okay. Like I, I don't like that. Like you don't need to slander the kid for that. That shouldn't even be out there. But what I didn't like that was next. And again, there's some speculation about if this is real or not but most people are saying that it is real is this picture right here so on the surface you're like okay what's going on here so these are supposedly liked instagram posts from shane wright and again i don't think it's a huge deal and we're just having a bit of a discussion here but if this is the truth i don't like it the ones especially that i don't like is the third one that says that slaff is the worst first overall pick since yakupov liked by Shane Wright. That's to me sounds like a kid who is salty. And I don't like that at all cuz you don't see Slavkovsky doing stuff like that, okay? And the one that says you guys are going to be eliminated by the Kraken talking about Montreal, which I also don't really like. Um and then the last one which I I, I don't know. The other the, the other ones are not really too mm, newsworthy, we'll say, but it's those two in the middle that I'm not a huge fan of, honestly. I honestly, I don't, I don't really like that one. And even the first one, okay, that says, I felt that stare down through my soul and Shane Wright liked that. So he's proud of his little stare down to the Montreal Canadiens brass there. I just, 
I'm not a huge fan of it. And that's when, to me, he starts crossing over from being a competitive kid who's motivated to prove that he was the best player in the draft to being arrogant, to being entitled a little bit. And am I going to go out and say he has a full-on attitude problem? No, of course I'm not going that far. But it's a fair discussion. Uh, the more he drags this out, the more he does things. And this is just, just the stuff that's been made public. If he's liking this type of stuff, who knows the type of things he said in private. So, I mean, I don't think... I wouldn't, I wouldn't go out and say he straight up has an attitude problem. But I would say that this behavior, it might show some things about Shane Wright. It might be clarifying some things... And honestly, maybe it influenced the draft a little bit because this Slavkovsky kid, he seems to really have a great attitude, keep his head down and be all business, which you need to be in Montreal. So look, I'm just bringing this forward and making it a discussion because make no mistake, it is a discussion and we'll see how Shane Wright acts, okay, how he carries himself in the future here, um, because he's certainly not not acting like Sidney Crosby here. He, he's definitely showing some entitlement. And maybe that exceptional status and the talk about him being first overall for like four years now got to his head a little bit. So we'll see what happens with Shane Wright. Um, I was hoping being drafted fourth would maybe humble him a bit and, and, and not make him kind of like, oh yeah, well they were just wrong. So we'll see what happens there. Uh, let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. Again, this is the type of discussion I want to have on this channel, not just regular analyst stuff. So let me know what you think in the comments down below. Like, subscribe, comment, follow me on Twitter at JohnnyHockeyYT. I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.